Back in early 2015, I fell in love with the chateau I found online. I then had to convince my other half to give up our London life and move to rural France. To my surprise, she said yes, and a year later said yes again at our wedding at the chateau we now called our home. It's just us two and our husky lightning. And now, of course, a few animals who seem to have joined us along the way. It's such a beautiful place to live, so we decided to share it with everyone. It's obviously a lot of hard work for just us two. It's not always a fairy tale, and we don't always get it right. But it's all fantastic fun along the way, as we bring this chateau back to life for others to enjoy as much as we do. Follow us, Angelina and Phil, along with the highs and lows of our Chateau life. It's a cold, crisp, bright and sunny January morning. And it's beautiful here. We have to get on with the old kitchen and getting that nearer completion. But before that, it's someone's birthday. Birthday. How old is Lightning? I think he's seven. <laughs> he's seven. Do you know? Hello. It's your birthday. Is it your birthday? <coughs> yeah. Well, okay. Well, <coughs> excuse me. Be polite. <coughs> Wait. <coughs> Sit. Good boy. Ready for your birthday treat? <coughs> yes. You sure? <laughs> what is it that you gave him, Denny? I gave him a... I don't know, is it a dinosaur or a bird or something? It's like a green chicken. <laughs> oh, it makes such a cool noise. a terrible throw. I like that it doesn't have an annoying sound. It's actually quite a good sound. I'll say that in half an hour. <laughs> Oh, you want me to throw it? Okay. Okay, ready? Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. Do you think you like your birthday present? I definitely do. This could be never ending throwing. Yeah, there's the whole thing. Does the dog get the ball because he enjoys getting it, or do they get it because they think you enjoy throwing it? Yeah. <laughs> He's a bit, a bit bored of this. He's like, can you stop throwing it away now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, then. Come on. Let's go inside, family. Come on. In. Good boy. And in. He's so excited. Let me in, let me in. in. Okay, everybody, whilst I've been working here in this room cleaning the walls, 
I wanted to show you some amazing things that I found and what exactly is behind the fabric walls here usually. So let's take a look at this wall. Whilst I've been cleaning here, just underneath, as the fabric has come away and the wooden piece, I've discovered this little piece of wallpaper. It's quite nice. Let's bring it out to the light. Yeah, it's a burgundy color with, you know, a flower motif. That's quite lovely. And I also found another place. If I go here by this light on the corner where the edge of this, I can see, can you see some of that? That's in there too. So that's an interesting fun fact, having this um, piece of wallpaper or remnants of it, definitely. Um, tells me what colour this wallpaper was. So I think I'll have a look at that old hotel leaflet uh, when it was advertised and see if I can spot a pattern. Maybe that will tell me how this wallpaper is. Okay, and now for the most asked question, what's behind the fabric of the walls? And why are you cleaning it? Why don't you just plaster it? And what is the purpose of the fabric? So let's take a look at this um, fabric here. You can see the imperfection. This actually, oh, oh, that's loose plaster, it fell off. So these walls are plaster, but the plaster is falling off. So I'm gonna get you closer now to have a look what's underneath. So let's have a look closer. If I just move this one and open it up. Ta-da, there's wadding. There's for some reason plastic but only halfway through on this wall I found, which doesn't help the wall to breathe. So I'm not a fan of that. I'll definitely remove that because I have found that the walls breathe much better. But you can see the state of the wall underneath. That old plaster is all fallen and quite some chunks as well at the bottom. And the way it's held up, the fabric is, do you see that piece of wooden lintel? So yeah, just fold over. Here is as well wood underneath here. You just fold over a staple and then put it onto here. Staple it on. In fact, you can see some staples that were here before. I'm not really sure what happened to them. <laughs> Perhaps they were too short. But this helps to hide everything and makes it all nice, neat and straight. Here's another section. This fabric is uh, not doing too well, but, and I can see a lot of plaster underneath here. And if this is lifted, then the plaster tends to fall out. Oh, you can see a bit of that wallpaper there. Not much left of it. But yeah. In fact, you can see some here. I don't wanna pull it away too much. But you can see that plaster is well gone and it is falling out here. This is one of the worst affected walls here. It's directly onto the north facing wall. So it's the worst one. I do believe there was a leak coming down a little bit, which we have stopped. But yeah. Now who wants to see some time lapse? Yay! Yeah. <laughs> How are we doing, Lightning? You're going to turn the light down and ignore me? Okay, cool. So as we can see, we've really, I'll say we, nope, that's absolutely wrong. Angelina has really managed to get somewhere with all of the shampooing of the walls. 
And a couple more to go. Really? How may I help you? And then what happened? Okay, but, but what else? Okay, can you wait a minute? Okay, good. Yeah, the complaints department is closed, okay? Right. <clears throat> so now I am going to tackle the fireplace, or more importantly, I'm going to start tackling the red tiles and the soot, as that's the quick job for the second. And you might be able to see at the top, up here somewhere, I tried out a couple of cleaning products last night. I found the one that's the best, so I'm just going to get to it. So here's a little bit closer. As you can see, there's a couple of little brighter patches, but it's all the soot. I've got to take off these down the sides and then clean this area up. And then obviously I need to paint this steel so it doesn't get rusty. But let's start the tiles. So all I'm doing is using this brush attachment, which are cheap on, uh, online, drill, and a little bit of kitchen cream cleaner. And literally just put it on here, scrubbing it off with that, and then wiping down with a damp cloth. Yeah, which means I need a damp cloth. mess as possible. Was oh, is that even possible with this? Let's, let's. let's pick a nice square there, you'll be able to see afterwards. <clears throat> Slightly more close up of that. <sighs> right. Hopefully that's as clear as day. A little patch we've just done. Just uh, now to do all of it. All right. Let's crack on. There's another one which looks like a toilet brush. Why don't you bring all of them? So we uh, can I'm going to show that one when I go in the corners because that one's like a toilet brush. It's, it is literally. It is like a toilet brush. Um, but actually, this was really cheap and it's really good, so it's working. It's just a very, very mild, abrasive, it's a kitchen cleaner, like a tile and stuff cleaner, a cream one. So uh, it's just very, very lightly 
So it helps to sort of buff off. The yeah, it side. just it's really, really imagine a light polish. But it's just a kitchen cleaner basically, a cream one. And you've got to be a bit careful, you don't want to go through the glaze of the tile stuff, but look, I think. It's definitely worth it. It's making a difference. So well done. Cool. Right, this is going to take me a little while. I'm doing a few passes, so. Okay. Right, while I'm working, Angelina's behind me, getting on with the same job you seem to be doing every day. Yeah, um, I'm halfway through. I'm, walk or I'm still working on the uh, walls, but I'm nearing to the finish line, so I'm feeling positive. And I've definitely grown some serious biceps. <laughs> cool. <laughs> right, let's all crack on, shall we? Yes. Comparison to what it looked like before. It's clean and tidy. Most of the set is gone. We've got a little bit up here that's staining you're not going to get rid of. But I also I don't want it to be perfect, otherwise you lose its age and its uh, significance. So this lot's got to dry, clean up the rest, and I'll think about painting the metal surround once this is all dried off. And as always, a special thanks to our VIP tier patrons. If you'd like to become a patron, then simply head over to the link in the description. That will open the page with all the membership levels, where you can read what each tier level offers. Also, a special thanks to anyone who buys us a coffee. Again, the link would be in the description comments, and you can have a read our bio. And if you'd like to buy us a coffee, head over to the link to buy as many coffees as you'd like and leave us a message. We love reading all the comments sent to us with the coffees. If you like this episode, then don't forget to subscribe and check out the other episodes suggested coming up on screen now. Thank you for watching and see you next time.